Ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is Hellblade Sinua's Sacrifice. Before we jump in, remember, you are an awesome person. So keep being awesome to others, okay? All right. Let's jump in and figure out where Cert is. And as mentioned last time, I do actually, as I bang the controller into the microphone, I do actually have a controller this time, so maybe I can save my poor mouse from getting beaten senseless. Maybe. Or maybe not. You never know. So I am going to be a little bit on the sluggish side with finding stuff because I'm not very good with the, using the joystick to look around and all that kind of mess. All right, so I can go down that way or I can come over here and I can't actually see the thing that I need to know in order to unlock that door, which is unfortunate. Uh, is there anything around here? Always exploring. The Northmen believe that the world will be destroyed someday. They call it Ragnarok, the destiny of the gods. Asgard will be attacked by Surt and the fire giants. A monstrous wolf will swallow the sun, and the gods will fight in vain against their enemies. Hmm. There is nothing they can do to prevent it. But Odin ever seeks knowledge and magic, hoping hoping to find a way to postpone that dark day. Interesting. Wait, I just realized that for some reason it has turned off subtitles, which is very weird. Uh, no, it's not there. Accessibility? That's how to set your subtitles up, but it doesn't actually turn the subtitles on, which is weird. Yeah, here we go. Subtitle should be set to on. Thank you. Okay. So. That's just a little history lesson lecture thingamajig about uh, what Ragnarok is. So that makes me wonder, if Surtur is responsible for Ragnarok, if I take Surtur out, does that mean I will have canceled Ragnarok? Alright, so we got a fire gate up there. We've got... Something involving a tower over here. Not actually sure what this is going to end up being. It's... Apparently nothing. Which means this is probably like something to do with that runic lock gate over there on the other side. Probably have to go up there to see whatever symbol it is that I need in order to unlock that gate. Speaking of which, we should go over there and take a look at that. Alright. Oh. It's three symbols now instead of just two. How did you escape your darkness? Once I learned my purpose, I was no longer enslaved to the suffering I had to endure to reach it. Unclouded by fear, I could see it clearly in others. Even my captors feared the fire of certain. And so. Left me for dead. 
Maybe they were right. But here I am. Free. I'm glad I found you in the wilds. I wouldn't have made it without you. <laughs> okay, so we found one of them. Right there. Probably not. Because everything around me is that weird off angle cross. Somewhere in this area. Is it inside of here? Or if I look out from up here, is it? Somewhere? Because that right there, the angle there, well, no, it's, that's not the right angle either. Oh. I mean, really? That? Well, I guess that is the inverse of it, isn't it? There's no way to see it from out here, and it... Okay, so I have to be outside and look up at that. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so now I gotta find a P somewhere. assume has something to do with this bridge thing that I can go across. Right, something somewhere is forming a P. Where is the weird P looking thing? Oh wait, is that it right there? Bingo! Drop down right there. Yay. Let's push through here. completely agree with that logic, but sure. I can certainly give it a shot. Decent advice, I guess.
but how else are you supposed to go through there? Um. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This darkness takes everything. Everyone. My battle. I have to face it alone, away from you. Where will you go? I don't know. For how long? I don't know. I believe in you. You know that. Just promise me that you will come back to me. I want you to say, I want you to say it. I will come back to you, I promise. out of here. There we go. Lock any of this? Kick. Ooh. Come on, charge in there, give him a good kick. Give him a good kick.
All right. Give him a good hit. Come on. Was that actually Cert? Or was that just one of his minions? For every battle won, a greater battle takes its place. And so it goes. Until we fall. And in the end, we all fall. Even the gods have their time. Yet we still go on. Why? I made a promise. Hmm. And I will go to hell to keep it. I die free. Only you will carry my stories with you. Okay, a couple things. Number one, controller made that so much easier. Or that was just a much easier fight than the Valraven fight is. And you're supposed to actually go after Serta first. And then the Valraven fight is supposed to be second. I don't know which is which. Like, which one is actually the case. But that was so much easier with the controller. Also... Does this mean that I'm, like, the big damn hero of Norse mythology for stopping Ragnarok? Since I just apparently stabbed Sirt and killed him? Just kind of curious. Because it, it sort of feels that way. Druth was a troubled man. Scholar turned slave. with them on their race. Drove them to madness. Spreading this new form of darkness to new worlds. To my world. Senua saw a deep connection form between the North Room and the darkness. His tales of hell were true. That that was the source of it. She learned everything she could from she too could see what he saw. Is he going to start up another fight with me? Well, why do I need to focus on it again? I've already dealt with him. I just went the wrong way. That's all that was. Assuming that was actually cert. So that's kind of shocking that I was able to one-shot him. 
Like, Val Robin gave me way more of a fight. But again, I was also on mouse and keyboard for that. So maybe controller actually did just make it that much easier. I mean, I can definitely spam the buttons on the controller a lot more without feeling like I'm going to break something. So am I about to get into another fight right here? Robin, and the mark of Sirtis. You may cross the bridge over the river of knives to Helheim. Why is she waiting? She, she open has the gate. to open the no, gate. No, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Don't open the gate. Why? Don't. No one here but me. Not you. Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? I will never let you go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. What did they do to him? They blood eagle him or something? In this waking nightmare, where all dreams come true. Okay, this audio is freaky as hell. Of a, control, a way to pull through. When you were in love, you left me in tears to smother your furies and banish your fears. But in darkness they came, through stormy black seas they raided these shores. Do you still hear his screams? And now, that you're home, he's so far away. They've taken his soul. To these gods you cannot pray. They can break you, but not your promise. Even death won't keep you apart. Through his darkness you will find him in your sword still beats her heart. You fought for love unspoiled by your darkness within. You fought for your dreams. Now there's no way to win. In the head of his corpse lies the seat of his soul. So you must carry his vessel to bring him back home.
that can break you, but not your promise. Even death won't keep you apart. Through this darkness you will find him. In your sword still beats a heart. And your sword still beats a heart. Interesting. The darkness touched you. Everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. A gaze averted from light. You ran from it that brought it nearer. Led it to him. An endless suffering worse than death. And you wanted to surrender. Abandon and divide peace with the gods. No. The darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye. And you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. Okay. Um. That was. That was something else. I feel like I didn't do a whole lot of talking there, but that was... That was a really interesting cutscene. I'm... I'm not even sure what I just saw. Again... That fight with Cert went a lot faster and a lot easier than I thought it would. It was much simpler than the Valraven fight was. Um, I guess... Having a controller does actually make a difference. Because that or, like I said, it, it could be that you were supposed to go after uh, Cert first and then do the Valraven fight. But if that's not the case, then having a controller is a lot more adva advantageous than I thought it would be. So yeah, managed to one-shot Cert. And apparently I'm now the hero for stopping Ragnarok, in theory. But now we get to go deeper into our own darkness and go kick on the doors of hell. Should be a fun time. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. It really does help out the channel a lot and helps keep the YouTube overlords happy. And if you want to find out what happens next with our little trip into hell or with any other video that I post here, well, use that subscribe button. Use the notification bell. Make sure that you get a notification anytime I post a video. Till next time, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember, life does get rough sometimes. So good luck, have fun, stay awesome. Catch you in the next one.